I'm Elise Sue and you're watching the Transhumanism Tech Channel. Today we're talking about future of robots and how the pandemic has accelerated automation. So robots have been regulated to marketing jobs, receptionist duties and even companionship for the elderly. But they're really starting to come into their own and have practical use. So let's take a look at why. Well, first up, retail and e-commerce is supplementing workers with robots to meet demand. Supermarkets started to adopt robots to free up employees who previously spent time taking inventory to focus on disinfecting and sanitising surfaces, as well as processing deliveries to keep shelves stocked. And these retailers insist the robots are augmenting the work of employees, not replacing them. But as panic buying stops and sales decline in the recession, companies may no longer have a need for these workers. And then secondly, services are sometimes better performed by a robot than a human. During a time when physical distancing is encouraged, recycling services in Louisville in the States were suspended until a robot like the AMP robotics system was trained to sort through items for recycling. There was fear that workers would contract COVID-19 while they were working in close proximity with other workers sorting through recycling items. Thirdly, robots are helping to save lives in healthcare settings. At the height of infection, robots were adopted in several countries for things like hospital check-ins, temperature checking, checking other vitals on admission, delivering food, blankets and medicine to patients, as well as decontaminating hospital spaces and floors. Then you've got Denmark tech company UVD Robots, who dispatched disinfection robots to hospitals in Italy. These robots emit UV light that tear apart strands of virus DNA. So their environment is first mapped so that they can then move around autonomously using LiDAR sensors. The Chinese government also, in partnership with China Mobile and Cloudvines, erected the makeshift smart field hospital in a football stadium which intended to use robots widely in its treatment of patients to prevent spread to healthcare workers. And outside of hospitals, Robots are warning people to maintain physical distance in parks. For example, Spot the robotic dog from Boston Dynamics was deployed by the Singapore government. And by the way, if you're interested in transhumanism, we're proud to partner with Transhuman Apparel, who makes these awesome sweaters and t-shirts. Transhuman Apparel aims to raise awareness about transhumanism. So buy a t-shirt to support them. Fourthly, Rules for autonomous vehicles were relaxed and speeded up real-world adoption. So carrying passengers has been a priority for many early manufacturers, but increasingly autonomous vehicles are being used for long-haul and last-mile logistics. And China has led the charge when it came to fast rollout of autonomous deliveries across food, deliveries, letters and parcels. Companies like Mi Tuan, which can be thought of as the Amazon for consumer services, started to deliver groceries to consumers. They first began with two driverless vehicles to deliver groceries to customers in three neighbourhoods within a five kilometre radius of its pickup station. While human drivers are not needed, it still requires human employees to place goods into the vehicles. And they have an advantage because they began work on driverless delivery in 2016. Large e-commerce giants such as JD.com and Alibaba have also been using driverless logistics services. Amazon probably wished they were staffed by more pick and pack and delivery robots as they needed to employ 175,000 more people to deal with the increase of online orders as well as the increase in employees who had to take sick leave. The startup Unity Drive technology deployed self-driving food delivery vans during the height of the outbreak in China. They operated across cities including Shenzhen and Suzhou without a single human driver. And luckily for them, they have been gathering lots of data pre-pandemic as their vehicles were being used on the Foxconn campus. Foxconn, of course, is the manufacturer of the iPhone. 
Another thing that needed to keep circulating was letters and parcels, and Starship Technologies deployed their local delivery robot, which is capable of delivering within a three kilometre radius. And some of these technologies have been adopted by other countries ever since. And the benefit of all this is that adoption has been speeded up and many of the developments are here to stay. Employers are realising automation delivers benefits over human labour, especially where interpersonal skills are not required or even valued by customers. When it comes to pure economics, there is increasing pressure on hospitals to deliver healthcare to more people but with less budget, and the same can be said of every other industry. It seems robots are really penetrating areas where people didn't think it would happen so fast, as there was value placed on human interaction. If you love transhumanism tech, make sure you hit the subscribe button, because in the next video we'll be talking about future of autonomous vehicles and how it will change the way we travel forever.